Now, one thing that a lot of fans were upset about when it came to Captain America 4, not all fans, but a good chunk of them, was how they retitled it from Captain America New World Order to Brave New World. It's just something that a lot of fans felt was less catchy this time around, and we already know that Captain America 4 is going through a lot of drama right now, a lot of reshoots, a lot of rewrites that are also on the horizon to kind of revamp the overall story based on a failed test screening as of late. We're going to be going over exactly what contributed to the failed test screening and how it does actually involve the opening scene itself. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future updates. I'm also on Twitter at MikeZero1. I thank you also very much for the great and kind support. Now, the thing about Captain America 4, in case you guys do not know, it's basically being treated as a sequel to in The Incredible Hulk with Edward Norton. I don't know if you guys saw it, Great movie, in my opinion. Uh, great depiction of the Hulk, apart from Mark Ruffalo and Vanna. I thought that they did a great job. But when you look at stuff like this, we know that Captain America 4 was pushed slash delayed from July of next year all the way until February of 2025. Now, the thing about Captain America 4, we know it's going to be the last film, reportedly, of the Phase 5 of the MCU. So, that's the importance of this film, is that it does serve as that transition from Phase 5 into Phase 6. The thing about this, though, is that we know that a lot of cast members are going through reshoots. A lot of the writers of Captain America 4 are also revamping the story and more. However... With Captain America 4 going through extensive reshoots for various factors, the film which involves Sam Wilson picking up the shield this time around is aimed to be treated as a sequel to The Incredible Hulk. One major development has much to do with the failed test screening that led to the film getting a massive delay from July of next year till 2025. The opening scene was labeled as the worst part of the test screening for Cap 4, in which it includes a complete reshot scene of Samuel Stern transforming into the leader, which by the way is gonna be the main villain, from The Incredible Hulk, portrayed by Tim Blake Nelson. Great actor in my book, by the way, guys. I think that he did a great job in Old Henry. Go ahead and check it out. The scene reportedly involved the finished product of the opening sequence in which it combined snippets of Samuel Stern footage from The Incredible Hulk and the reshot footage at the same time. This led to a major inconsistency in the scene where Stern appeared both younger and older in the entire sequence for the opening, with Abomination returning in his transformed state. Tim Roth was not actually in, in the opening scene that is now going under a major reconstruction. The scene also involved both Samuel Stern, transformed as the leader, communicating shortly with Abomination. The exchange was described to have poorly written dialogue that breaks from the source material in the comics, and unfinished CG work for both the leader and Abomination that was labeled as finished and was described as horrid. To make matters worse, the opening scene is what brings the introduction of Sam Stern as the leader. The writers of the film reportedly completely redesigned the character's appearance from the comics to the point that it created a negative reaction from screeners that was described as the biggest piece of criticism of the movie. Now, this is said to be on par with how the Grand Inquisitor from Star Wars The Kenobi series mishandled a character called the Grand Inquisitor and how he was completely different in design. And this case, the redesign was best analyzed as alienating the design completely from the comics. Now guys, let me just stop here. Now, the thing about Cap 4 that a lot of the screeners found to be very much uh, a big and major flaw, not just the fact that they had both old footage from the Incredible Hulk and new footage that was shot for Tim to actually shoot as Sam. And that all kind of contributed to this bouncing back and forth between Tim looking older and Tim looking younger. No de-aging technology was used on him, so that kind of created that inconsistency. So here's my first thought. The fact that they did not apply de-aging technology to Nelson, that just goes to show you that they wanted to steer clear from some budgeting, you know, uh, you know, some kind of budgeting aspects that they wanted to actually get rid of. We know that Bob Iger and his cost containment plan was already wreaking havoc as it is on all post-production projects, so I have no doubt in my mind that that played a role. 
So they kind of did this in the Kenobi series where Hayden Christensen as Anakin Skywalker appeared inconsistent from scene to scene in some shots. Now, in this actual Cap 4 opening sequence, it was described to be very much severe to the point where you could really see a difference, where you really can't mask it. So let's continue, shall we? Now, part of the reshoots happening right now are involving a complete reworking of Stern's work and a full-on redesign of the character, the leader, in both the transformation scene and in the major scenes that he's involved in that will actually be reshot throughout the first half of next year. The writers of Cap 4 are even now considering writing out Abomination, even having a short exchange of dialogue with Stern as the leader to exclude the character completely or drastically reducing his appearance in the opening segment. Now, Stern's performance as the leader was also said to be lackluster that needed additional work from the writers and editing team of Cap 4. The purpose of this opening scene is to set things up and to make the casuals understand that this will be considered a follow-up to the Incredible Hulk, essentially. Something the writers desperately are trying to rework right now as it is. Now, here's the problem with this. Now, we know that Captain America 4 is if not one of the biggest controversial movies out there just because of what it's going through right now. A lot of reshoots, rewrites, uh, around reportedly 60% of the movie is going to get revamped. And that just goes to show you that, well, they're going over budget now. They're pouring too much money into this thing. And if it fails at the box office, this could potentially be yet another flop. Now, I'm hoping that this could be a great addition to end Phase 5 of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And as far as I see things, I'm not quite sure how a lot of fans are going to accept the overall storyline for what it is and Mackie taking up the mantle. I know some people are up for that, others are not for that. You know, people really feel that Chris deserves to stay as the role of Captain America in the limelight. And I could see how some people have issues with that, but we gotta understand at the same exact time, you know, this movie itself is also gonna introduce Harrison Ford's portrayal of Red Hulk. That's also gonna be another thing, or inserting his character, the general, getting thrown in there as well. Now, Captain America 4, 2025 of February, it's not a terrible delay. I mean, it's still quite significant, but that means that you're definitely gonna get at least a trailer by right around the time where Cap 4 was supposed to release. So expect a trailer around, you know, August, right around there of next year. Most of the footage will have been reshot where they can bundle up a nice trailer from previously shot footage and put that out there and get the marketing going. So overall, this movie so far is a god awful mess, not just because of everything that's being reshot, but also based on the mistakes that they made. How could you redesign the leader from the comics is beyond me. And look, I'm glad that they're diverting from that and they're trying to fix things up, but it goes to show you the lack of leadership yet again over at Marvel Studios. So anyway, guys, you know, drop a comment below. Fill me in below in the comments what you all have to say about this. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel and I will catch you guys later. Everything.